Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to speak about the value of not caring. Now, when I look at the definition of care, uh, the second definition applies more so to this talk. Care is defined as serious attention or consideration applied to doing something correctly or to avoid damage or risk. Serious attention or consideration applied. I think that's spoken beautifully, defined beautifully. Because in not caring, I embrace my power of who I am. I embrace the strength of who I am. And I choose what I give serious attention or consideration to. Now, this can be reflected in many ways. It can be reflected in the conversations that I entertain, the ones that I communicate with, strangers, relatives, anywhere in between. It's very interesting to understand that word, uh, especially at this part of my journey. I've heard a lot. I'm going to say a lot. I'll say I've heard many speak of trauma that they have been through. From my understanding, there's not one person who does not have some form of trauma. Everyone carries trauma, every thing, every animate or inanimate object has trauma. It creates the present day version of said thing or person. I bring this up because many times in my life, strictly my life, I don't know about yours, Trauma has been used as a way to make someone else care. <laughs> Fell for that trap a lot. Then when I relay my traumas, attempting to get someone else to care, it wasn't received that same way. It would be Begin to think about this whole situation. What is trauma? Trauma is defined as a deeply distressing or disturbing experience. Each person has those. The purpose of trauma is to allow us to come out of it. That's it. It's an experience to allow us to come out of differently. Now, whether we say it's good or bad, that's on us to decide. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the world says. It should be. Should is irrelevant. What we do with our trauma creates who we are in this present moment. If we begin to compare drunk, traumas that's where i believe we get lost on our journey i can honor my own traumas see them for what they are and be accountable for how i respond to them moving forward but if i simply go about the world reacting to not only my own trauma but the trauma of others i give away my power I allow myself to be controlled and manipulated by how someone else chose to handle their trauma, including myself. Interesting to think about. You know, I like to believe that I'm a conceptual thinker. 
so when I see certain uh, buzzwords like trauma, or I hear certain terms thrown around, I begin to look at how it applies in different areas. If we look at nature, we could look at the natural disasters that happen in nature, correct? And there's an understanding that you could have one large major event and it appears to be devastating. And it can be devastating to those impacted, whether it be people, whether it be environments. But creation and destruction happens every second. It's not that the large scale events are any different. It's that they're large scale. That's a traumatic experience, deeply distressing or disturbing experience. When we place a seed into the ground and cover it up into the darkness of the earth and water and nurture that seed. This is a deeply distressing and disturbing experience because we're taking the seed from its form, creating an environment that is forcing the seed to change. So once you nurture that seed, it grows and rises through the surface eventually after roots have begun to form. Something new comes about. So, in looking at the word trauma, I disconnected with the emotional response to that word. I began to see trauma as a way of forging the spiritual experience that's taking place in the human body. Forge, by definition, is to make or shape by heating in a fire or furnace and beating or hammering it. Another definition of forge is simply create. That's creating a relationship or new conditions. It's not different from trauma. Trauma focuses on one end of the spectrum. And that's why for myself, it was more helpful to remove myself from simply saying, well, here's the reason I'm like this. Here's the trauma that made me like this. No, the trauma was a triggering event. But what did you do with the trauma? Did you transmute it, forge it, create a new relationship or a new condition with that event to make or shape yourself into somebody or something different? Or did you hold on to the event as a crutch, as a reasoning to not search for a different way to handle it? something to think about once again every form of creation has trauma every form there's no way to get around it so i share these thoughts fellow travelers a reminder that as you go on your journey where there's the beaten or unbeaten path you will not only experience trauma, but you will be the one that is supplying trauma as well. So don't look at it as it has to be better or worse than someone else's. Understand, I, first of all, identify your own and understand it for how it has shaped you and allow your informed decisions or responses from that moment moving on to be of your choosing, forge your path. Do not allow trauma to guide you. 
It's like running in the circle at the start point. Uh, trauma is simply a cause. But how will you how will you forge how the impact of that trauma looks like? With that said, these are my thoughts to share at the moment. I look forward to speaking to you fellow travelers and sharing more insights. Hopefully, I get to hear some of your insights as well. Until then, be blessed.